Robert Frank is a famous American photographer born in Zurich, Switzerland in 1924. Frank is most well known for his book, The Americans, published in 1958. This book is still thought to be one of the most influential photography books of the 20th century, as stated by critic Sean O'Hagan. The Americans shows the fast pace of American life. In 1955, Frank received a Guggenheim Fellowship to travel across the United States and capture the wide variety of American societies on photograph. Frank enjoys using unusual focus, blurring pictures, and using low lighting. He also likes to use photo cropping that was different than the popular and accepted photographic techniques of this time. This photo was taken in New York City in 1960. Here we can see Frank's use of blurring in the bars of the bridge indicating movement. He uses the foreground of the image as the blurred structure of the bridge and the background as the New York City skyline. This next photo from the Americans was taken in Hoboken, New Jersey in 1955. This photo takes place at a local parade and symbolizes the patriotic attitude of Americans. Here we can see the cropping used by Frank cutting off the American flag and using an angle that does not include the full faces of the people. Here we have a convention hall in Chicago, Illinois in 1956. This photo can be ethically evaluative, showing the male-only presence in politics at this time. This photo also shows some of Frank's famous blurred motion and shows that the photo was candid. The foreground is unfocused on the two men in the front, and then the background brings your focus to the large crowd of men. Here is one of Frank's really popular photographs from the Americans used on the front cover of the book. This is a trolley car in the heart of New Orleans in 1955. He uses the bullseye approach here to capture the presence of the American people. He also takes advantage of the reflection in the car, making the photo interesting. There is also a candid feeling to this photo, capturing the blank expressions of the passengers in the car. Here we have a drive-in movie theater in Detroit, Michigan. This photo captures America during this time period, seeing that drive-in movies were a huge part of popular culture and entertainment. We can see the reflection of the sky in the two vehicles in this image, and Frank uses the rule of thirds, placing the large movie screen to the right corner of the image. Next, we can see an example of an explanatory photo by Robert Frank. Here we see men at a funeral in St. Helena, South Carolina in 1955. Side lighting is used here to illuminate the men's profiles, exposing their distressed body language and facial expressions. This scene takes place in Miami Beach, Florida. Frank uses his famous slanted cropping here, and he shows blurred movement in the foreground of this photo, indicating that the people are exiting the elevator. In the background, the viewer focuses on a woman with side lighting exposing her facial expression. In Charleston, South Carolina, we have a photo of an African-American woman holding a white baby. This image can be ethically evaluative, symbolizing the racial and class differences during this time period. Frank uses the bullseye approach, focusing the subjects in the middle of the photo, and there is contrast between the two different skin colors of the subjects. Robert Frank excelled in photography and filmmaking, capturing different landscapes, scenes, and people. His book, The Americans, was especially successful and symbolic, showing the presence of American people, black, white, rich, poor, urban, rural, and the power of politics.